What's going on, y'all? So I'm here to give my post-fight thoughts on Arthur Bedebiev versus Anthony Yard that just took place in UK at Wembley this Saturday. Um, this this fight, uh, Arthur Bedebiev, he put all three of his titles up for grabs: the uh, WBO, the WBC, and the IBF light heavyweight championship titles. So, uh, my original prediction was for Arthur Bedebiev by knockout in the seventh round. And uh, he had he got the knockout in the eighth round. Now, very, very, very entertaining fight. That is what you call pay-per-view worthy right there. If you're going to spend money on a pay-per-view, it got to be something like that. You know, um, very back and forth fight. Uh, Anthony Yard showed a very good account of himself. Uh, first two rounds, he had that in the bag. Um, but the BF was much more cautious in this fight. He wasn't as, uh, as aggressive as he was against Joe Smith Jr. For obvious reasons, you know, Joe Smith, he has a good punch, but, uh, but Anthony Yard definitely got some snot behind his punches as well. So, uh, better BF was a little bit, um, he used his footwork a whole lot in this fight as well, too. But very smart dude, better be able. A lot of people um, don't give him credit for his IQ. Uh, Anthony Yard surprised a lot of people, too. He did very good in this fight, man. Um, dope, uh, pretty decent jab. He had a good body work. He stood there toe-to-toe, -to -toe, wasn't afraid of better be uh, A lot of people... Would say that that was a mistake. He should have boxed more. But listen, man, you gotta understand. Like better BF. I mean, uh, Anthony Yard. This is a guy that got a late, a late start. He didn't start as early as a lot of these other boxers did. So you know, given that fact, man, he I would say he did really good against somebody with almost with 300 amateur fights, bro. So he did really good, man. I think this was one of Anthony Yard's best performances. I think he did better than he did against um, uh, Kovalev, man. So. Yard was in there. He was game. He was with it. Showed a pretty good chin. He was hurt in this fight a few times. I can't even count how many times he was hurt. But so was Arthur Bedebiev. He was definitely hurt. He was rattled a few times in this fight. Proving and got a good solid chin. Very durable. And what he would do is, though, it's almost like he was playing possum. It was like he was luring, he was luring uh, Yard to sleep, man. And... He would get to the corners. Yard would start trying to go to work on him. And then he would just spin Yard around and just start tagging him, man. Just start chopping him down into the, to his body up at the top. Hitting him with an uppercut. That was what he was doing almost for like a few rounds he was doing that, man. And he hurt better be if in one round. I forgot where, what round it was in. And he had better be if he was punching him up. Had him on the road and... At that point, I was like, oh, shit, is he about to stop Better BF? But Better BF rallied through that and just, it's a tough dude, bro. He he is tough, man, Better BF. He is tough. And uh, I think the seventh round, Yard was hurt and then, like, came back out for the eighth. I think it went, like, a minute into the match. And Better BF hit him with this fucking right, man. And it just, it knocked him down. And... He gets up, goes to his corner, and he looks over, and they're they talking about something. Now, a lot of people are saying uh, Anthony Yard quit. Now, I, look, I don't know. I didn't hear what was said in the corners. They said the corner threw the towel in. Cool. A lot of channels are saying that Yard asked his corner to, to stop the fight. So, I, hey, look, I don't know, but from I'm not even here to get into all of that. But as far as I saw, he was doing his thing in that fight. A really, really close fight. I think they had Yard up. Two of the judges had Yard up on the cards. And one had a bit of BF. It looked like Yard was winning that fight. And if, you know, if he didn't get that knockout, or if he didn't knock Yard out, we could have possibly saw a draw in this fight. We don't know how it would have went for the next four rounds. If it went to decision or not. If it did, it better be able to probably pull it off. But it looked like Yard was going to win the fight. 
So he did remarkably well until he couldn't do well anymore. And Yard tends to start to fade at the second half of fights. This is something that is common with Anthony Yard. So uh, I would say um, he he still showed that he has some kind of an engine, but he was breathing with his mouth open like the third, fourth round. So I was like, damn. He's already getting gas, bro. So I would man, I would say a lot of the, a lot of that got something to do with Anthony Yard's mass, bro. He is he has all his he has a lot of muscle on him. And that shit can bog you down in fights, bro. Nonetheless, he still did good. He gave he he gave better be of all he had, bro. He he gave it to him, but he gave him a good run. But this Arthur Better Be of Cat, man. This is why I be telling everybody, hey, oh, he's older. Okay. Now, if y'all heard Letitia Crawford, she kind of was like, see, age don't really matter. She had tweeted it. And I'm like, yeah, they know this is a precursor. That's exactly what would happen to fucking Bud. I mean, to uh, Errol Spence. <laughs> if they fought in the ring, it would be something similar to that, man. You think the older dude, you want to age the old dude out. And the old dude putting hands and feet on the, on the younger dude. Man, come on, stop it. But I had to throw that in there. Yeah, I know I had to I had to compare and contrast, you know. But very good fight. Arthur Betty BF defends his WB uh C WBO and IBF titles. What's next for Anthony Yard and uh Arthur Betty BF? I'd say for Anthony Yard, I like to see him fight uh maybe a, a Joe Smith or somebody like that. I would like to see something like that. Uh as far as Arthur Betty B and man, it's only one other fight right now I want to see. Him and Dimitri Beevil. I mean, there should be no other reason why these dudes shouldn't be fighting soon. Beevil got the WBA strap. Better be got the other three straps. So make this happen. Let's get undisputed at 175. That should be something that should be coming up next for these guys. We just gotta wait and see. Nonetheless, good fight. Uh, let me know what y'all thought about this fight, man. Drop a comment, man. It's your boy, Rebel Life Boxer. Catch y'all later. And I'm out. Peace.